So computer teaching, what is it that what is it about? Uh, computer education is usually perceived as a tool for e-learning. If uh, people say that they will use computers, it means uh, that it will be e-learning. Of course, I don't want to diminish the role of uh, e-learning as a com communication through computers is a great thing. We all know about this. Uh, we can all study uh, from a distance. And uh, also, uh, we, uh, our, our conference is recorded and can be also, uh, it will be also broadcasted. But we as uh, physics, we want to use computer methodology, a methodology which is applied in science, we want to use it also in didactic process. As, uh, and what specifically we want to, to do? So uh, we want to use uh, uh, data processing, we want to apply uh, numeric methods, we want to do computer visu visualization, and we want to apply uh, computer supported algebra. And uh, of course, you can read the slides. Uh, so about 100 years ago, uh, there was developed uh, a task to, to simplify this uh, equation. And uh, equations of this kind uh, are, are not exist, do not exist now. I think they are very difficult to solve. And uh, of course, uh, we need to have some specific techniques to be able to calculate uh, this uh, uh, equation. Uh, if we have uh, a calculating uh, machine. Each of us uh, have this uh, calculating machine in your mobile telephones, so uh, we have new tools and some problems disappear. And so, uh, of course, some 20 years ago, uh, there appeared the computer, and it had a much more uh, uh, gives us much more possibilities now than a uh, calculating machine. And myself, when I was a student uh, many years ago, I didn't feel that uh, computer computers uh, were available. So definitely, as a doctor, uh, as a, a physics, uh, I program computers. There is something missing. I use computers, but there is, uh, and I also use all other machines I have mentioned. But um, it is kind of some, to some kind of separated process. Uh, we use numeric methodology methods. And so what what we did, uh, we wanted to integrate all those areas, and in the world, in uh, Oslo, there have an initiative as computer design to education, starting 2003, carried out by uh, Nobel scientists, and this initiative brings to conclusions to integrate from the very first uh, semester uh, computer uh, computer based methods in in teaching, in solving pro to solve problems, and I was discussing with students, I was talking to students who were taught this way in Norway, and that was amazing. And those students, from the, uh, from the very beginning, they feel as uh, engineers uh, designing uh, spaceships, as they can solve problems. They can solve similar problems, the same problems as um, the scientists. They, do, they are not limited. They do not feel artificial, uh, uh, they do not feel those artificial limits, as they are taught all those aspects. As I have already mentioned, we have four uh, clusters of methods, computer algebra. I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's uh, something like a Mathematica software. So this is, um, uh, this is computer algebra. So, uh, so these are, uh, this is a software which can transfer equations to make them sim more simple. Uh, we can also um, numerically evaluate some uh, results and we can uh, apply some uh, schemes. And this is applicable to such uh, problems which cannot be solved in any other, in other different ways. And 90% uh, of uh, physical problems include uh, this, uh, this uh, application. Numeric methodology, uh, this is very popular. This is not like uh, data which can be uh, read uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as a time of transfer f from some sensors. I can also analyze data from computer networks and from intercomputer connections. So this is an era of uh, huge number of data. 
No i zasa naukowa wywiązuje, zasa to jest coś, co teraz na samym końcu specjalnie, bo to jest coś, co się też czasami nie zna. Scientific visualization, this is another thing, and this is another aspect. In this project, we do not want to develop another another tool. In fact, they can be grouped, but we want young people, students. To, to know how products are manufactured. As preparing of animation, making of animation, we do not need a computer. As uh, old cartoons were made before computer era, so we do not need computers to, to make uh, uh, cartoons. So this project was, in one of our projects, we did exactly what we want to do uh, now at the university. So it was a human uh, resources capital uh, supported all also by the University of Oslo, and we developed a lot of materials, we developed a lot of experiences with those materials, with the equipment, with the software, and uh, we have a lot of things to share with schools, and we want to do this, and hopefully in the following three years we will, we will manage to do it. And out of those uh, most innovative solutions, uh, one of those is SAGE. In, uh, in a, uh, one hour we will see a demo of this software. This is an open source and uh, free software. And this is open software, so it allows to check how things are made. This is very important. And the software is open, and uh, it is um, uh, a full system of uh, computer algebra, and this is uh, not alternative for uh, Mathematica, it is all, which is also very important, uh, which gives it a lot of advantages. It is based on the language which is commonly used in industry. This is Python. And Python, uh, this is the first uh, language uh, used in the United States, in Poland, I'm not sure if our IT, um, uh, probably our IT department uh, is uh, also the first one to use it in Poland. And a lot of things come to Poland a little bit later, but definitely this is not the case uh, for Python. Uh, uh, we also teach Python here in, uh, at this university. As we can see, this is a, a good trend in the US and in the world. And this language also has great uh, features. It is uh, friendly, it is interactive, this is a great uh, language to talk to a computer. So we have developed how to use this software. Uh, we have got here some screenshots. This uh, software is also very good for graphics. This is not uh, uh, this is not uh, good soft this is not software like Geo uh, Gebra. This is a more general application software. Nevertheless, um, you can demonstrate a lot of things with it. And other things we have developed, we have decided not to install the software uh, everywhere. We have, uh, we, we wanted to put the uh, software on our server, and this is the world uh, server. All of us who use uh, Google, Google Drive, uh, you know that clouds have some advantages. You don't have to take care, you don't have to worry where your computer Computer is so uh, uh, we created a server for Sage, and this server it doesn't look so good. Uh, and it was quite simple. It is quite simple one. Uh, we have some simple PC computers. And uh, it makes uh, one uh, calculation per second. It makes one, uh, two millions uh, calculations per, per per year, and it works. And uh, students use it. And the goal of our project, uh, uh, the ultimate goal, some people are fascinated by computers, but it's, it's easier to, uh, to, to find uh, uh, people who would like to be uh, IT students than to be physics students. Uh, but if you want to teach people uh, physics uh, together with IT, this could be much more uh, innovative, much more, uh, much more okay. And for many students, uh, the computer is like a native tool. Uh, they can use it. Uh, playing computer games, they use it on an everyday basis. Everyday basis. And uh, as, uh, without computer, we cannot exist. As uh, older people cannot uh, don't know how to use uh, Facebook, but young people know it. And for them, uh, computer is an environment, as a natural environment. So if we can show them physical uh, phenomena uh, using computers, so this is an, a new platform of communication with uh, young students. And we believe that it's possible.
No właśnie, co dalej? Bo uh, what is next? Bardzo, bardzo uh, so this is a very preliminary presentation. Uh, and so we will, are going to have the presentations from our guests and you will learn uh, who uses uh, computers and why it is a good idea to learn how to use Python. As Python uh, uh, also can be quite easy uh, to be used. And together with Professor Wuczka, uh, we will demonstrate how Sage works. For those of you who are not going to participate in the workshops, you will be able to see how the system works and probably you will be also able to use it. And also the workshops uh, are available for you and I would like you, as many as you as possible uh, to participate. Uh, so please, uh, please contact Marta uh, if there are any available uh, seats. And during the workshops, uh, we are going to have uh, 90 minutes. Uh, you will have computers and you will, uh, you will have an opportunity to solve some kind of problems. You can also use our international guests uh, to ask and answer the questions. Also, Professor Czechok uh, uh, from uh, the Technology University uh, will uh, participate in the workshops. Uh, please also visit our website. Uh, the, the, this is uh, just the basic uh, information available there. Uh, for students of schools, for teachers, we have also an e-book, which you should uh, have been given uh, as a PDF format. And uh, uh, there is also a, a workshop chapter in it. There are quite uh, interesting uh, areas discussed, which can be easily uh, solved using computers. Those materials is an inspiration and the start point for uh, this project and cooperation uh, with uh, schools. So on these websites, uh, quite interesting materials will be available. So uh, now I'd like to welcome you to uh, the next presentation. Thank you, Professor. As it was mentioned.